On July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 with Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin landed on the moon. Armstrong declared, that's one small step for man, one giant step for mankind. Americans hoped that this would help shift away from the problems of the 1960s. As an attempt to help the economy, Nixon proposed the Family Assistance Plan, which guaranteed families a minimum income. But the Senate rejected this because families would become too dependent on the plan. Along with this, too much government spending was used for the Vietnam War and other expenses. So the economy entered a time of stagflation or high unemployment and high inflation. To fix this problem, Nixon ordered temporary freezes on wages, prices, and rents. This went against Nixon's beliefs. The inflation soon rose and Nixon was reelected. In 1973, Arab countries cut off oil shipments to the U.S. Nixon then caused, called for emergency conservation and oil from Alaska. Along with this, an increased concern came for, from an oil spill off the coast of Santa Barbara, California. In response to this, the Americans celebrated the first Earth Day in April of 1970. Once the government realized there was such a big public concern, they created the Environmental Protection Agency to enforce environmental laws. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration to put workers, protect workers from dangerous conditions. The Clean Air Act to make manufacturers meet tougher emissions on cars and the Water Quality Improvement Act to make oil companies pay for their oil spills. Nixon's main interests were foreign affairs. Him and Kissinger shared a belief in the re politic or approach that emphasized national interests over mor moral and ethical concerns. This meant that the government allied with the U.S should receive American support even if they were not democratic. The goal of this approach was to establish a balance of power among the world's five major powers, the U.S., the Soviet Union, Western Europe, Japan, and the people of China. Nixon visited China and two nations, and the two nations decided to develop trade relations and culture and scientific ties, and to promote peace. Nixon also agreed with the leader of the Soviet Union to promote trade and corporate issues. They also signed the Strategic Arms Elimination Acts Treaty, limiting nuclear weapons. On the other hard, uh, on the other hand, during this time. Chile was turning into a communist ally of the Soviet Union. Nixon cut, cut funds to Chile and instructed the CIA to disrupt economic and political life in the country. Also, as the conflict between Israel and Egypt grew, the Soviet Union threatened to send troops to Egypt, putting the U.S. on alert to help Israel. However, the Arabs and Israels accepted a case or a ceasefire before confrontation. In 1973, the Watergate investigation up had begun. Nixon was obsessed with winning the election, so he composed the enemies list, which was people who opposed his policy, te, uh, policies and tried to ruin their reputations. Nixon sent a secret group called the Plumbers, who were CIA and FBI agents, to spy on the enemies list, which was illegal. Nixon did not give up his president easily due to, his, due to this scandal, but eventually resigned on August 8, 1974. On August 9, 1974, Gerald Ford became the 38th president of the United States. 
Ford was very popular with the American public, but he granted Nixon full pardon. Because of this, his popularity fell 23% overnight. Ford continued to have troubles, including conflicts with Congress, because he voted more, vetoed more bills than any other president has in such a short time. Like Nixon, Ford tried to stop the soaring costs of oil and curb inflation by cutting federal spending. This led the country even further into recession. In foreign affairs, Ford continued to help Asia but was denied by Congress. This led to Cambodia seizing the U.S. cargo ship and killing 41 Americans. By, by 57 electoral votes, Jimmy Carter won presidency on January 20, 1977. Carter was well liked by the public and was determined to keep his administration open to their view. Carter tried to stimulate the economy by increasing jobs and making tax cuts. This helped the unemployment rate slightly, but soon led to more inflation and another recession. To help face the energy crisis, Congress created the Department of Energy in 1977. It soon passed the Na National Energy Act to relax control on the price of national, natural gas. A revolution in Iran disrupted the world oil shipment. A year later, which caused OPEC to rise the price of oil by 50%, leading to another U.S. energy crisis. Carter had a different approach than Nixon about foreign affairs. He believed in the rights of all people to freedom from unlawful detention or torture. Many dictatorships did not agree along with many Americans. The Panama Canal treaties also sparked controversy. Carter supported these treaties that would allow Panama control over the canal. Many disagreed saying, but we built it. It's ours. We paid for it and so on. However, these treaties were soon ratified in 1978. Carter helped ease Cold War conflict by taking a flexible approach about a uh, path in Africa. In Africa, he helped them sort out their problems and stand up for their rights. During the Cold War, the most difficult task Carter had to face was the Iran hostage crisis, which was when the U.S. helped overthrow Iran's leader. But when Islamic militant groups tried to uh, overthrow the new leader and flee, Iran got mad at the U.S. because we let them into the country. More Hispanics and African American people working federal jobs, they, they formed the lead of United Latin American citizens to raise national awareness of Hispanic concerns. Americans with disabilities made their voices heard also. They wanted places to be more wheelchair accessible. For clothes in the 1970s, men wore bright colors and big necklaces. When women wore flare jeans, high boots, belts, and body suits that flared out at the wrist and the ankles. The popular songs of the 70s included various songs from bands such as the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, to bands such as Michael Jackson, Blondie, Bob Marley, and the Wailers.